Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you again with a barbecue buyer's guide, this time to retail offset smokers. So let's dive in. All right, we've got some chapter times here for you so you can navigate through this video. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. We always are trying to get out some more barbecue content for you. Uh, and now let's dive into what we have here today. All right, a few starting notes. So I always try to set some parameters for what I'm going to be looking at. Uh, these offset smokers uh, that you find at retailers. Now, I included online retail as well as, you know, physical box stores. Uh, and I decided not to do anything under 100 pounds. So... Um, there's, there's definitely a few out there that you may be familiar with that aren't going to be on here and nothing with three sixteenth inch steel, which that's seventh, seven gauge or thicker. So, you know, you have Bass Pro and barbecue guys selling things like Horizon and uh, Yoders. Um, but I've already covered those in other videos. So, you know, uh, I think I'll, I'll link one here. Um, but yeah, this is this is for some some of this stuff that's a little bit thinner, a little bit cheaper. So that's what I'm trying to get at today. I decided not to do any vertical or over and under offsets. So just horizontal. Now let's see what we do have. All right, and now I want to talk about top stack versus side stack. Okay, so I divided uh, this these smokers into that, and you'll see that more in the charts when we get there. Uh, but the differences between these two is uh, starting with the top stack, it's kind of more a grilling thing. So if you want to use your offset more as a grill with, you know, charcoal in the main chamber, having a stack up there right on the top of the chamber is a little bit more common for that. Uh, and it sort of facilitates that heat from the bottom to the top uh, kind of airflow. All right. And so these stacks are also generally shorter. All right. And then it, the side stack is a little bit more common for uh, smoking than grilling. Uh, the idea is it kind of continues that elongation from the firebox through the main chamber out the stack, you know, making that that distance longer that way and then up. Uh, so and they're generally taller now. That isn't to say that you can't have a tall stack on the top or extend any of these stacks, really. Uh, these are just kind of generalities. I, and it's it's going to be sort of how I break down how I look at them and what I kind of think of as the purpose for each of them, kind of more for grilling the top stack and more for smoking the side stack. Uh, and I think you'll see that just generally in what. Uh, the features are with these smokers too, okay? All right, and we're starting off with Moss Grills. There is there is a website, uh, a retail website that does sell his grills, um, but I have learned that his own website is a better place to buy them. It's a bit cheaper. Uh, I do believe that it's free shipping, at least currently. You know, double check that when you when and if you buy. Um, so single barrel smoker offset firebox for $700. Let's take a look here. So, uh, yeah, these are, you know, barrels that he started making into smokers and his business, uh, got to be very popular. Uh, several celebrities have, have these grills. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg is one of the examples, uh, and I think she was the first celebrity who kind of pointed out his grills, and then I think others followed. So let's take a look, though. We've got um, a charcoal rack there in the main chamber if you want to grill in the main chamber. We've got dual slide-out racks. Really nice there, right? Diamond plate shelving there, uh, two sides, so a lot of space for shelves, four locking casters, a wood rack. Um, turn dial offset damper there. So you see you have that little handle and uh, the cutout there, that square rectangular cutout lines up or doesn't line up uh, depending on how you swivel that thing. 
customer choice of a custom logo included. So, you know, I think he has some some logos that are go to's, but you can design your own logo and put it on the top or the back of of his grills. And uh, there's a lot of great pictures of of his smokers out there and different designs for those custom logo plates. So if you go to his website, you can see a lot of those. All right, and some accessories. So the grill cover is fifty dollars. Now you can upgrade to having a rotisserie for an extra hundred dollars. And uh, you know it's it's not pictured there, but it comes with the motor, and uh, you, know, you can. So you'd be grilling in it. It wouldn't be the offset kind of thing. Well, I guess you could try doing offset rotisserie that way. I think it's a pretty cool option. Pretty cool. Um, he does a reverse flow as well for an extra hundred dollars. So you know, put a plate in there on the bottom. Uh, I don't know how that would affect your ability to grill, but um, or if it was removable, you could probably call them and find out. Uh, red or green paint. Uh, you get uh, some more logos there. You can see. Um, delicious and uh, i can't tell it looks like that might be um maybe some branch of the military there on the top one with the green uh but yeah fifty dollars for those nice colors on your barrel all right and now on to oklahoma joe's so, you know, you have the old standards, the Highland for $449 there. Um, and that price I had at Lowe's, you know, these prices, you can see different ones all around uh, different stores. They sell, uh, you know, big names like Oklahoma Joe's. They sell to several different retailers. Uh, so do looking around for the prices. I think it's pretty standardized, though. So $449 is probably what you're going to get at most places right now. Uh, the Longhorn, six ninety nine, right up there near seven hundred, and uh, the Oklahoma Joe's Barrel and Hitch Combo Grill and Smoke, three forty five. Now this one is, I believe, exclusively at Walmart. Okay, um, you know sometimes these uh, companies make exclusive deals. I think we're going to see that with Char Griller and Home Depot. Uh, so, you know, when we get to char griller, but I, I think that this barrel and hitch combo is only at Walmart. All right. Uh, and we're going to take a look at, uh, the regular ones, the Highland, uh, and Longhorn first, you know, see that main charcoal, uh, rack there, porcelain coated racks, that front shelf that you can take out of, uh, those little holders. So, you know, removable front shelf, 10 inch diameter wheels. So we know that the wider a, a wheel is, the uh, easier it's going to be to pull around. And that has to do with mechanical advantage, science and physics kind of stuff. Uh, they'll allow you to grill in the firebox. Now, most of these do that. Most of them will allow the grill in the firebox kind of deal. Uh, firebox seams. So this pointing out something. This is also going to be something you're going to see on quite a few of these grills. So not, uh, you know, specific to Oklahoma Joe's, but it is something that historically people have pointed out uh, about this grill. Uh, some people use some, um, you know, silicon sealant and you can get that kind of stuff from Lava Lock. It's a lot of mod videos out there, uh, modifications to help some issues with this grill. These grills particularly, uh, they've been made for a really long time. There's a lot of modifications, even, you know, like tuning plates and all that. Uh, the internet and YouTube particularly is a wealth of information on those sort of subjects. The seam, if the seam's not such a great thing, why is it there? For all these grills who aren't, you know, moss that we just saw, it's really about shipping from overseas and uh, cost cutting, even if it's not really the best for the performance of a grill, uh, how are they going to get it in, you know, a box and a shipping container and then assemble it uh, in, in this case with nuts and bolts over here. So uh, that is what that is. And uh, we're just taking a quick note of it here. 
All right, and uh, we're going to look at the barrel and hitch combo. It's interesting. Walmart sells both of these separately, right? So, um, and I have no idea who, who came up with the lovely idea to put them together. <laughs> it would be interesting if it was like a customer, you know, and they said, hey, can y'all do this? And then they said, yeah, or uh, who knows, maybe it's their R&D department. But yeah, you can see the charcoal trays for the main chamber, which I don't think the Highland or the uh, Longhorn actually have those. Though you'll see that it's quite um, quite popular for a lot of these other ones as we go along. They patented uh, this kind of connector. You see that um, it has that uh, lip there at the top of uh, the barrel side and the hitch there You know, is going to come over top of it. Looks like there might be sort of a pin that goes through on the bottom side. Uh, so, you know, it's going to go right up on there. It's interesting. Um, and now let's look at the charcoal basket there. You can get that for $57.99. I think that there's, uh, you know, there's several different sizes you can get. There's a lot of aftermarket stuff from other companies out there. You know, all this stuff here. They've been making these things so long that other companies have started making all this stuff, really. Uh, but um, except for maybe the barrel and hitch cover there for $34.99. The barrel and hitch is, is new. Uh, gasket there for $19.99. You can get that from several other companies. Cover for the Highland 27, Longhorn 5768. Um, a latch two pack, so $17.99. Is it necessary? Is it not? The idea is it's going to, you know, force close that seal around the door, which hopefully you'd have some gasket on that if uh, if that is what you're doing too. Keep the smoke and heat in. All right, and now on to Broil King, okay? And I never really spend much time considering these anything from them until now. I do think that they're a Canadian company, but let's take a look here. So the 400 is $699 and the 500 is $799. So Regal, it seems they have this kind of monarch naming theme. I think it has to do somewhat with uh, the width of, of their smokers or grills. They've got pellet grills and, and regular grills. Eagle Charcoal Offset 500 and 400. Uh, and, and these prices are from Wayfair. Wayfair is a website, a retail website, that they usually have some really good deals. And apparently they're legit. I was a little skeptical at first when I first saw them. Now, if you go to their website, Royal King's website, it's going to be more than this. So uh, just keep that in mind. But I did decide to use these uh, prices. All right, some interesting features. Uh, that tool there you see at the top left, it's good for doing a lot of stuff. Um, one of it is doing stuff with these cast aluminum dampers, right? So uh, you just use the tool. <laughs> what if you lose this tool? Uh, you know, I guess a regular steel bar or some other sort of bar would help. I imagine those dampers get kind of hot being uh, cast aluminum. So, um, you know, removable ashtrays, we've seen that uh, you can see it at the bottom of the firebox. Also, they have them right there to go into the main chamber. So that's nice. Pull out, you know, you pull it right out there at the back and he uses that tool. You see him using the tool to pull out the uh, the ashtray. There's a warming tray on top of the firebox, uh, front shelf and utensil hooks there so you can put your, uh, you know, tongs on those utensil hooks. Comes with a bottle opener, right? So yeah, if you want some beverages out there while using your Broil King, you just pop off uh, the top. Now, the one thing that I like more than any other thing about this Broil King is the main chamber access door. Uh, and that's something that you don't see terribly often, Gator Pit of Texas is the one company that's really kind of known for including it on really all of their offsets. But, uh, you know, they decided to put one here. It looks like 
and there's an extra damper on that door too. So that's cool. But if you want to use this thing for grilling uh, and grilling frequently and even grilling for long periods, having that access door there allows you to get in there and re put in some more charcoal without having to fiddle with the grates up top, right? So this is the only one with this main chamber access door. And if you want to be grilling as much as you want to be smoking, uh, this could be a really good thing for you. All right, and a couple of accessories here. This is an exact fit griddle uh, for Regal models. Um, and when I say exact fit, I believe the dimensions that 19.25 fits the barrel uh so if you want to put it in there instead of the grates uh you can have this griddle right uh on amazon it's 49.99 so about 50 dollars uh the cover also from amazon for the 500 is 69.78 um for the 400 i couldn't find one you know and if i had contacted the company maybe maybe they would have told me uh, it seemed like all the 400 ones were for their pellet grills. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Do they fit it as well? Um, if you wanted one for the 400, uh, you know, and if, if you want the 400, ask them, right? All right. And now for old country barbecue pits, a lot of people love their old country barbecue pits. Part of that is, uh, you know, Mad Scientist Barbecue has been using that Brazos for quite a while. But here, you know, in our parameters, we've got the Pecos for $499.99 at Academy Sports and the Wrangler for $599.99 at, at, at Academy. So, you know, if you have one local to you, um, depending on the season, you know, they may have these out there, right? You can go take a look. All right, and uh, you know, I went out to mine and I took my own look to get these pictures. One thing about Academy's website is uh, they don't have a whole lot of pictures and maybe that's Old Country Barbecue Pit's fault. The pictures they have are not great. I think they have, you know, like one uh, silhouette shot. So I went out, you know, and I and they had one, fortunately. I think it was maybe the only Old Country Pit that they had at, at the store there. Uh, it looks like maybe, you know, it'd been, been there for a year. Yeah. They usually get these things in, in April, right? Uh, maybe some more for the Christmas season, people buy, buying them then. But, uh, you see that rust on the wheel there. This thing's been outside for a while, right? Uh, so, but let's take a look. Um, you see the baffle plate there at the top left. A lot of videos of people taking that thing out and sort of having a little less restriction on the airflow, help it go straight to the top um, and sort of even out uh, the heat a little bit more and, and extending their stack. Uh, I think Raleigh Smoke is one of a guy near me, actually, probably a couple hours drive away. You can find for, for how he did all that sort of stuff, but it's been happening a lot right uh the people are modifying uh the pecos in particular i don't know if that's happening quite as much with the wrangler uh you see the fire grate there at the bottom um not a whole lot of place for the air to come up it seems like there's a lot more steel than not steel for for the air uh fold down shelf there so you got that sort of uh swivel bar that kind of holds it up so you can fold the shelf down uh, holes for thermometer. Uh, one thing to know about Old Country Barbecue Pits is they sell thermometers uh, separately. So you will not get one with the pit. Um, you see the uh, grease pail hook down there uh, out of that hole. So that's where you're going to hang your pail and uh, the grease is going to come out. You can see the uh, spatter from the welding. Uh, the thing about these pits is they're made in Mexico. And being made in Mexico, they uh, can be uh, completely welded, right? So they have a completely welded body. This is the company. When I was talking about Oklahoma Joe's and all those ones being shipped from overseas to come here, what Old Country does is they manufacture in Mexico and then they uh, you know, put them on pallets and ship them up into the United States. 
And in that way, they can make them so that you have a fully welded body. Uh, and so you don't have to worry about getting all that sealant and stuff. Well, you might have to do a little bit of that. But it is something that a lot of people prefer to have, you know, welds instead of seams and bolts. Got that one slide out rack there at the top. Uh, and that is our look at this Pecos. It's a little unfortunate the sun was where it was, you know, half in the dark, half in the light. Uh, but I had to work with what I had there. All right. And here we have the temperature gauges. So the $14.99 there for the three inch. Um, if you want the adjustable uh, temp gauge three inch, it's $19.99 for so about five extra dollars. Um, they have that four inch. Uh, so both Pecos and Wrangler covers are $29.99. And there we go. Now for Char Griller. All right. Um, up top there, we've got the Smokin' Champ uh, for $229. Uh, below that, the Smokin' Pro. Um, that one's $275.82 off of Amazon, which is a price that seems a little high to me. Uh, and maybe, maybe they're phasing that one out. Maybe that's why only being on Amazon, it's a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I do think that there is kind of an advantage that maybe these retail stores have of getting these things in um, and having them just on their trucks and, and the shipping kind of being better that way. Uh, maybe that's why the price is price difference there. Uh, the competition pro offset over there on the right hand side, 349 and the smoke and outlaw. Uh, and that one's, I think I only found it from Walmart. And that's 197. So the uh, the top two and the middle one, the Char Griller Grand Champ, uh, some of them put the XD on there as well. Uh, I think it stands for extra duty, which is a phrase that doesn't make any sense. So I'm leaving it off. <laughs> but it's the Char Griller Grand Champ for uh, 549. So the Char Griller Grand Champ, the Smoking Champ, and the Con Competition Pro are all at the Home Depot. And I think, particularly for the Grand Champ, I think that it's exclusive to home, the Home Depot. All right, and this is another one that I went out to see personally at Home Depot. So there I am at the store taking my pictures. Um, one of the reasons I really came out there is to measure the dimensions of the shelves myself, right? And I was a little confused between, you know, what are the dimensions of the lower shelf versus the top shelf. Um, and so I did that. And you'll see that in the charts and we'll talk a little bit more about it there. Uh, but yeah, you see the top pullout uh, shelf and the bottom pullout shelf. Up top, you see that bolt there on the, the bottom left of the lid. So you can change the location of the thermometers to three different places on that lid. Uh, so, you know, just take that bolt out, put the thermometer in at a different place. Of course, you should get maybe you could have three thermometers in all and just put those in there instead of the bolts. So there's that uh, if you wanted all of that. Uh, if you look at the bottom mil middle, it comes with a charcoal basket. So that's that's uh, something we haven't seen. That's extra value there even above and beyond anything else we've seen from, and and I I know the, the rest of them here, we're not going to see that again, right? So that is exclusive to the Grand Champ in this whole lineup, uh, which is really nice. And of course, I've got some pictures of the throat. Um, I always love the throat, and it's really one of the most important parts of an offset smoker. For some reason, uh, not a whole lot of pictures of throats in, you know, just retail store pictures of smokers. Uh, so let's take the, a look at these. So the first one up there at top is without the damper. So you can take it off, right? It's removable. That's cool, right? Um, and then when you go to the bottom part there and you see that you can put it back on, you know, it has those little catches. You put it back on. Below that is, you know, 
the grate for the charcoal for the main chamber, right? And then if we look at the bottom picture, it's up a little bit. And you can see that there's kind of a little manifold that they've built in uh, with holes, right? So you're going to have the heat coming from the offset uh, firebox. It's going to come up top there and hopefully, you know, spread out in that top manifold part and uh, come up to the top of the chamber. Some of the heat and smoke is going to get pushed down by the damper, right? And But some of it's going to come up through the manifold. So the heat's going to be sort of split and it's going to create uh, what I believe is going to be some even heating across the chamber here. And that's something that all, you know, all of these offset companies are trying to achieve with baffling. And it looks like this Grand Champ has as good a chance as any to succeed there, which is really exciting, you know. Um, I'm going to say about Char Griller, uh, my thoughts. I used to believe that they were um, sort of a trash company, right, when it came to, to any of these things. But two, two units have really changed my mind. One is their gravity feed smoker. Uh, the 980, and I did an episode on that. I guess I'll link it here. Um, and now this Grand Champ, ha they have really turned my opinion of Char Griller around, right? So this this offset smoker has a lot of promise um, just from looking at all the design features. And I've looked at designs for so many offset smokers, right? Um, but this this one looks promising. Okay. And here we have the other ones, right? So these are going to be the top stack uh, smokers. Now, you know, the Competition Pro is a little bit more expensive than the other ones. And you can see it here at the bottom left. Uh, one thing that sets it apart from all the others is it has a smoke stack. When I say others, I mean the other Char Griller ones that are top stack. The smokestack comes some into the chamber for that one. It also seems to have a, a particularly long barrel. It seems to be a little bit more geared towards offset smoking than these other ones. Um, you know, uh, partly because uh, the the lid doesn't go all the way to the sides like these other ones do. It's kind of more enclosed, so it's going to keep in that heat maybe a little bit better. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to cut off, you know, that raising the charcoal rack thing that we see up up above there. And I really like for grilling uh, the ability to raise that rack, raise and lower it. So you see that guy, he's got the, the hot gloves there and you can take the charcoal rack and pull it up and set it on those catches at different levels. Um, and I, I don't think that I've seen that on any of the other ones. So for top stack smoking, that is something that I really, really do like. Uh, cast iron uh, grates. Uh, okay, so not for the Competition Pro again, which you can see it has expanded metal there. But for the rest of them, I, I believe they do have the cast iron grates. So smoking Pro, smoking um, Outlaw, and the smoking Champ. Uh, you know, the pull out for the firebox for the ash and the, uh, you know, you can add your charcoal and your wood chunks right there by pulling out that sort of drawer. There's an upper rack and that upper rack only comes with the smoke and champ. But as you're going to see on the next slide, you can buy it for the other two. Um, so the smokestack at the top of the rest and uh, yeah, they're bolted on, bolted together. If you buy most of these, um, you know, you're going to spend a good little bit of time putting them together with the bolts. So, yeah, bolted together. Okay. All right. And here are some of the accessories, right? We've got the Grand Champs cover up there for uh, $54.98. Cover for the Pro, uh, Competition Pro, $48.99. Smoke and Champ, $41.99. Uh, I didn't put the rest on there. I'm sure that the pricing is similar. Um, I don't know if I could find the covers for the other ones. It's looking on Home Depot uh, where those three are sold. I'm sure that there's some covers for uh, Smoking Outlaw and Pro. So 
But uh, some other ones from Char Griller, that rib rack I saw, $21.99. The drip pan, $31.99. The great uh, lifter is $6.99. Now, when I was looking at the Grand Champ, one came with it. So I didn't see uh, one coming with the other ones. Maybe it does. I don't know. But $6.99 sold separately, okay? Then uh, the warming rack. So for the Smokin' Pro, if you want to add that on, it's $19.99. For the Smokin' Outlaw, it's $24.99, right? And if you look at it, the Outlaw is going to be uh, almost the same price as the Smokin' Champ when you add on that uh, second level rack, okay? But so it's, you know, they're very close in price, very close in size. We'll talk a little bit more about those later. All right, and on to Dynaglo. Ah, oh, Dynaglo. <laughs> So they've got a 37-inch one uh, with a black barrel, 280, 31 from Lowe's. Uh, and then they've got their heavy-duty barrel charcoal grill and offset, uh, $399.90. And that was a price I got from Home Depot. And a lot of features that we've seen on some of the others. Easy ash jump and refuel with that pull-out shelf kind of firebox extension. The stack is at the top of the barrel, um, just like the Oklahoma Joe's. We have the covers. The larger there, strangely, is, is cheaper than the smaller 5750, the smaller 6370. Dining Glow, they don't have a lot of accessories specifically for their offsets. So I didn't include an accessories page. Pulled down front shelf, so that looks uh, like it's nice. Uh, no baffle. No baffling at all. Uh, so you can probably expect, you know, one side of the chamber to be a good deal hotter than the other. Uh, it looks like they have a, a nice grate there in the firebox. And uh, the Outdoor Gourmet. This is the last one on our list. It is made and is sold exclusively with Academy Sports. Um, it is the Sierra Charcoal Smoker, and it is $199.99. So, has a top rack. Cool. Uh, there's also a charcoal grate in the main chamber. Uh, the stack extends into the chamber, just like the Competition Pro. You can look up there, and you can see that the, the bottom rack looks like it's cast iron. There is no baffle. Uh... There is um, a removable ash pan, but it's not a complete slide out like uh, some of the others that we've seen. And now it's time for charts. All right, so we're going to start with side stack price. I got that Dynaglo uh, 37 there at the bottom, 280.31. The Heavy Duty for $399.90. Oklahoma Joe Highland, $449. The Pecos, $499.99. The Grand Champ, $549. Uh, the Wrangler, $599.99. And then the Longhorn at the top there, $699. All right, and the top stack prices. Uh, so the cheapest there is going to be that Smokin' Outlaw from Char Griller, the Sierra for uh, Outdoor Gourmet Next, uh, Smokin' Champ, Smokin' Pro, the Oklahoma Joe uh, Hitch Combo, the Competition Pro, the Broil King 400, the Moss uh, Single Barrel Offset, and then the Broil King 500. All right, and now we have side stack uh, square inches. We're going to start with that Dynaglow, the 37 inch there, with 443 at the bottom. The Wrangler, 461 on the bottom rack, uh, an extra 223 on the top rack for a total of 684. Then we're going to have the Oklahoma Joe Highland there, 619. Uh, the Pecos at 630. 
Uh, then the Grand Champ. So 674.5 on the bottom rack, 390.5 on the top, and 1065. I measured this one myself. And uh, part of the reason I did that is I was a little confused. I do think that they say that it's 1200, right? Um, and I don't know if they were trying to add in uh, inches from the firebox from that. Maybe they just said it was 1200 overall in the main chamber. Um, so the heavy duty there, 675, and then the longhorn for 751. All right, and now we've got top stack inches squared. Right, we're going to start off with that Oklahoma Joe's uh, hitch and barrel combo there with 488. Broad King 400 with 500 square inches. Um, then we're going to have the Sierra. Now, I couldn't find a breakdown between the bottom and top greats there. It is 575 overall, though. The Smokin' Pro, 600. The Royal King, 500 with 625. Then we're going to have the Moss uh, single barrel offset, 677.25 plus an extra 330 for that top rack. Um, it's going to have the most real estate of any of these with uh, the top stack, and it's going to have 1,007 and a quarter inch square inches there. And then the smoking Champ is going to have 680 on the bottom, 305 on the top, and 985 all together. The Competition Pro was 719. Uh, and then the smoking Outlaw, uh, 725 on the bottom, and it only has the bottom, so 725 overall. All right, and then we're going to have the dollar per inches squared for the bottom rack only on uh, the side stack smokers, uh, 59 cents uh, per square inch on the heavy duty Dynaglow, then 63 cents for the signature 37 Dynaglow, 73 cents on the Oklahoma Joe Highland, 79 cents for the Pecos, 81 cents for the Grand Champ, 93 cents for the Oklahoma Joe Longhorn, and $1.30 on the Wrangler. All right, and now if we add in the second level, right, uh, we're going to have uh, a reversal for the Grand Champ. It's going to be number one down there with 52 cents per square inch. Uh, then, uh, you know, 59 is the same for the heavy duty dining glow. The only one that's actually going to change, if we look up here, it's going to be that Wrangler. So 88 cents uh, per square inch there. So it kind of takes the spot down uh, and beats the Longhorn. Uh, which is still up there at 93. Top stack, dollar per inches squared, bottom rack. So I'm not including the top rack here on these. And uh, 27 cents per square inch on that smoking Outlaw, 34 for the Champ, 35 for the Outdoor Gourmet Sierra, 46 for the smoking Pro, 49 for the Competition Pro, 71 for the Oklahoma Joe's uh, Hitch and Barrel Combo, the Moss, $1.16, Royal King, $500, $28, and then Royal King, $400 at $1.40. All right, and now dollar per inch is squared for the total. So the only ones that are really going to change are the ones with that secondary level, and uh, it's 23 for the Smoking Champ. Um, still 27 for the outlaw, uh, still 35 for the Sierra. I guess I should have excluded it from the last one since, um, I don't have the bottom rack numbers for it, but it's still there. Smoking pro 46, um, 49 for the competition pro. So those numbers haven't changed. Let's look at the Moss. The Moss hasn't changed in regards to its placement left to right. But it has come down a, a good bit lower with that 78 cents for the total uh, dollars per square inch on the main chamber. All right, side stack weight. Weight is important on this because, you know, how heavy are these things? We're going to get to the thickness of metal here in a second. But let's take a look that uh, Dynaglo 37 is uh, 123.2 pounds. Uh, the heavy duty, you know, 174.2 the Highland 178, the Pecos 222, Wrangler 225. So, you know, that Wrangler, they really shorten that chamber length. Uh, so it's more expensive, but it's only three pounds heavier. So it kind of makes me wonder about that. 
uh, the Grand Champ, uh, 263, um, and the Longhorn at 300 there. All right, and now, dollar per pound. Okay, uh, the Grand Champ coming in at number one, $2.09 per pound. The Pecos, 225 the 37 Dynaglo 228, Heavy Duty Dynaglo 230, Longhorn 233, Highland 252, and lastly, the Wrangler at 267. All right, top stack weight. We have the Outdoor Gourmet Sierra at 108, the Smokin' Pro 117.5, Smokin' Champ 123, the Moss uh Single barrel offset was estimated by an employee to be 135. Competition Pro 140. Smoke and Outlaw 140. The Hitch and Barrel Combo 176.4. The uh, Broil King 400 186. I had to, to message back and forth to get this other one because they had a typo, but it is 239 pounds, so the, the heaviest here. And dollar per pound. That's Smoke and Outlaw at 141. Um, the Outdoor Gourmet Sierra 185. Smoke and Champ 186. Uh, Hitch and Barrel Combo 196. Smoke and Pro 235. The Competition Pro 249. Royal King 500 334. 400 376. And that Moss with the uh, thinner 20 gauge steel at 583 up there. All right, and now metal thickness, okay? So um, millimeters, 1.2 for the heavy duty. The Dynaglo 37, also 1.2. The Pecos is going to have, um, you know, a 14 gauge there, which is going to be that 1.984375. And then it's going to have a heavier lid up there, uh, which I believe is 11 gauge, 3 Point one seven five, the uh, Highland and the Longhorn both two point five millimeter steel there, and the Grand Champ uh, has uh, twelve gauge steel, so that's two point seven seven eight one two five. The Wrangler three point one seven five there, and then it has I believe believe that seven gauge steel for the lid four point seven uh, six two five. Now. Why does old country, why do they make their lids heavier? There's two reasons. One, you know, when you're opening that lid, you're going to lose heat, right? The thicker the metal is, the better it retains heat. All of a sudden, you know, it's up there in the air. Both sides, uh, you know, are going to be cooled by that cooler air. So when you have a little bit more heat retention, when you close the lid back again, uh, it's going to come back to temp a little bit quicker just with that heavier lid. The other reason they do it is a uh, heavier lid when you're shopping, you open it and uh, you think the whole thing's thicker, heavier, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, that's those are the reasons that happens. Uh, and so you see that. Now, Oklahoma Joe's, they use 2.5 millimeter steel. Um, a lot of times you'll see and somebody say that it has 12 gauge steel. It does not. So you see the Grand Champ. That's what 12 gauge is. In fact, uh, it's closest to, you know, 12.5 gauge. Remember that gauges are thicker the smaller the number. So the Oklahoma Joes are closer to 13 gauge than they are to 12 gauge. Um, and 12. 0.5 is closest yet okay so if anybody says that they're 12 gauge that is that is not true all right and metal thickness in millimeters for the top stack so uh that moss with the 20 gauge is 0.95 millimeters the sierra one millimeter a uh, whole slew of them have this 1.98, which I believe is 14 gauge. So, you know, uh, the ones from Char Grill, the ones from Broil King. And then we have the Oklahoma Joe's uh, hitch and, and barrel combo um, at that same 2.5 as the others. So, you know, they just use the same thickness 
uh, throughout. All right. Now, I have taken the dollar per pound, the dollar per inches squared uh, total for the main chamber, and the thickness. And from the differences between this whole set, I've put it all on a 10-point scale for each one of those and averaged them together. And the Char Griller Grand Champ has the highest score, 9.33. Then the Dynaglow Heavy Duty at 4.85. The Pecos at 4.81. Oklahoma Joe Highland at 4.67. Uh, the 37-inch Dynaglow 4.64. The Oklahoma Joe Longhorn at 4.13. And then the Wrangler at 3.77. All right. Now, I used only the dollars per inches squared for the bottom um, with the others and put that in there. The Char Griller Grand Champ still at the top. The Pecos, though, takes a higher place. Then the Longhorn, then the Highland, then the Dynaglow Heavy Duty, then the Dynaglow 37-inch, and then the Wrangler. All right, and these are my thoughts on the side stack smokers. Which one do I recommend? The Char Griller Grand Champ. <laughs> um, you saw that it did well in all of the charts. The one thing about the charts is that they don't take into account the um, features, right? So really are just measuring value uh, or material, uh, size, uh, and it won on that. But if I were going to break down the features, I think that there was a good chance it would have won on that too. <laughs> uh, like I said when I in the overview, I really like the Char Griller Grand Champ. The runner-up is the Pecos. Now, this surprised me because I thought when I, I made this episode, I thought the Pecos was going to be the number one. Um, and the Char Griller Grand Champ really surprised me. So there it is. Uh, if you want... A side stack offset smoker in this range, the Char Griller Grand Champ really is a great deal. Uh, and it looks like a great pit. All right. And the same stuff I said before for the top stack, uh, you know, this is uh, the dollar per inch is squared for the total. Um, and we've got that smoking outlaw there at the top, then the smoking champ, the Oklahoma Joe's uh, combo, smoking pro, competition pro. The uh, Outdoor Gourmet Sierra, Royal King 500, 400, and then the Moss. And then when we change just to the bottom uh, square inches, uh, I don't think very much changes here. We have the Outlaw, the Champ, um, the Oklahoma Joe's Combo, then the Smoking Pro, the Competition Pro, Royal King 500, 400, and the Moss. And now my thoughts on them. Um, I couldn't decide between the Smoking Outlaw or the Champ, right? Smoking Outlaw is at Walmart, has more of a cart shape. Uh, you know, the whole how many holes are in the barrel thing was there. Then the uh, for the Champ, it was, well, it's sturdier. Uh, you know, if you add on the second level grate for the Outlaw, it's right about the same price. <laughs> They're, they're not very different overall, right? So it's your choice, but they have the best stuff. I really love the ability to raise and lower that grate. Um, so they're the two that I recommend for the best value. If you'd like to get out in the world and grill, <laughs> uh, if you want to take a little grill with you that's also part of your offset smoker, wow, Oklahoma Joe's barrel and hitch combos for you. <laughs> Uh, I think it's cool. It's novel, you know, it's a great idea. Um, and if, if you want to do that, I think, I think that, uh, grilling, it's going to work a little bit better for that. And then if you want to smoke on a rare occasion too, there you go. Uh, grillers delight, um, Burrow King Regal 500. I can't get off of that, uh, side access door. I can't, can't forget it. Uh, <laughs> Um, that's what you want to do. You want to grill a whole lot and smoke sometimes, and you want want that combination. Maybe that's for you. Uh, it's expensive. Um, the Moss, it looks cool. It's got style, you know. You want 
your uh, that that plate on there with your custom design. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, if you want rotisserie, right in your offset smoker. Yeah, this thing this thing has more style than all the other ones. If you like supporting uh, American businesses, Moss is for you. Um, it's I love the Moss, right? Uh, it's not cheap though. <laughs> um so there's that but yeah so those are my thoughts on the top stack all right and now add your review to the comments um do you own any of these offset smokers right have you had a good experience a bad experience put it in the comments help all of us find the right and best smoker for us to use um you know thank you all for sticking with me through this episode and you know what y'all go get your smoke on